So as I empty all this produce onto the table, I wanna talk about a little product that I've seen flying around the internet lately. And it's these little, like, peelers, but they're supposed to be like advanced peelers. The guy using it is just like shredding stuff, julienne, making potato chips, everything in seconds with this peeler. So I went out and I bought all kinds of craziness so we can try these things out. They showed a butternut squash in the video. So I got one. They showed carrots in the video. So we got them. I think this is a sweet potato. I don't know, but we got it. Then they showed it peeling like a melon. So I got one of those too. And don't forget the paper thin zucchini that guy was shaving off with this thing. So here they are, the Magic Trio peeler set. They come in this little cardboard box. There's three of them. Says you can get an extra set for free if you follow the instructions at that address. They come bound together. This one has tiny serrated edges, the black one. This one must be the julienne because it has some teeth in it. It looks like it's designed to julienne. And then this one looks like a regular peeler. They all have that little melon scoop, melon baller thing, and they have like a triangle cutter on them. They don't seem any different than what a regular peeler would look like. And they're not labeled. The instructions have like a red, blue, and a green one, but I have a red, black, and a blue one, so I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't know what the difference between these two is, but the blue one is about, I don't know, half an inch longer than this one. So I'm gonna use this black one and just see what happens. Oh. That's actually very easy. Let me try the blue one, because it looks very similar. Oh, that one's, okay. I'm actually Im fairly impressed. I think the blue one, the blue one doesn't take off as much meat, but it actually feels really smooth. This one, the black one cuts a lot deeper. This one must be the slicer. The black one's the slicer, the blue one is the peeler. And then if you wanna gouge out one of these little bad places in the potato, there you go. Okay, surprised so far, works as advertised. Look at that. I mean, it's making some, <laughs> maybe I should do it from the end. How did they, sh I think they showed it in the video. They showed the guy, he was moving the potato across it like this. Potato chips. Okay, that's pretty simple. I'm making some very thin potato chips. Huh. Look at those potato chips. This thing, very impressive. Let's try this julienne one, see what comes off. Look at those. I feel like I'm gonna hurt myself getting down low on this potato like this. You remember those shoestring potatoes that we used to eat as a kid? These are identical looking to shoestring potatoes. It says you can go both ways. I'm gonna try that. Oh, ho, ho. you can go both ways with it. What's amazing is this thing is taking off paper thin sheets of skin. There is almost no apple on that. I'm gonna have to get used to going back and forth, but look at that. That is just skin. Maybe you can believe the hype. This is not a sponsored video. OK, 
Okay, that just makes little pieces of apple. That might be good for dehydrating. Ooh, this is gonna be a good one. What about peeling this big dude? This is oddly satisfying. Why is that so much fun? I could do this for a living. These are amazing. Look at these slices. Those would be good for the grill. Let's try some julienne. Look, I made I made cucumber spaghetti. I got an onion, but I don't know if I want to mess with it. Ooh, look at that. I'm not even crying here. What's next on the agenda? A sweet potato? Now this is a lot harder, and it's just ripping right through this sweet potato. I'm gonna have to say, even before I finish this review, that these are something you probably should buy. You want some sweet potato julienne fries? You got them. What about something soft like a kiwi? Will it peel a kiwi? Look at that perfect kiwi peel. That's amazing. I don't even really know what a butternut squash is. I just know it's hard as a rock and I thought this would be a hard thing to peel so we're gonna give it a shot. This grip is really good. On oh. Let's do some butternut squash julienne fries. See that? They don't look like julienne fries, but look, they are cut. They actually come apart into little bitty fries. These truly are magic. What about this? Will it peel a cantaloupe? Is this real life right now? Can your peeler peel a cantaloupe? I don't think so. This thing is absolutely a beast. That's it, that's all we're doing folks. That's the magic trio. This thing absolutely just annihilated like a whole shopping cart full of produce effortlessly. I don't even feel worn out. I don't feel like I did any work. These things glided right through the produce. The marketing is true on this one, so if you'd like to get yourself some, I'm gonna put a link below in the first line of the description. I make it easy for you. Also, if you wanna see more, check out one of these videos right here. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that little bell icon down there so you can see what we open next, right here on Unbox Warehouse. Jeez, I'm gonna shred some more.